Cooperative Pottery. The holidays are very busy because production's just ramped up and pressing more tile means we need more clay made. The process starts with uh, dry clay materials that we source from across the country. From there, we mix it in our uh, clay tank in the back. We mix it as a slip consistency and it gets stored in an underground tank that we keep for about a week to age it. And from there, it runs into what's called a filter press, which is part of our historical equipment. And basically, it'll fill up with the liquid slip. It gets under pressure from a pump constantly running. And once it hits a certain pressure, any excess water will actually be driven out of the clay. And the actual clay material will be left behind in canvas bags, which will actually filter the clay and let the water pass through. It runs for about four hours, and then I'll open it up and we'll get our clay discs. And then I'll take those clay discs out of this machine. And then we'll put it through what's called a pug mill. And then I'll give, put it out into logs for us that it's a lot easier to store and handle than having these giant discs of clay. For our clay, we're looking for uh, certain properties down the line. High temperature, firing, so the glazes will be more vibrant and an overall strength because we're making floor tile and wall tile, so it's gotta hold up the time.